Suppose that we are given to draw this drive insert having dimensions in millimeters. So this is how we're going to proceed. We go on newly, and then we come matrix standard millimeter, and then we say create. So once we're here, we need to know what is our drawing plane. And I think in those cases, x, y, then I start by drawing the axis of my cylinder. So that's one day. Okay. Uh, now I start with a rectangle. There is my rectangle. Then I need to give dimensions. So that's one day need to have hundreds millimeters as the length <coughs> and a radius of 15 millimeters. Okay. Once that is the I need to draw this line big B. Correct. So I see finish sketch, 3D model, I see revolve. Great. Okay. So in here, this is how I'm gonna do it. So I say again drawing plane XY. I click on plane. So I say fine. I come here. I right click, I say new sketch. So once that is the I right click and I see slash graphic. So I need to draw now the profile of my coil. So there we go. So I started like this. Mm, right? And it need to have a height of six millimeters. That need to be six millimeters. And the width need to be four millimeters. That need to be four millimeters. And from the end of my cylinder, at the beginning of my pitch, that need to be six millimeters. So that is six millimeters. So once it's done, I come there as a finish sketch. And then here I go in coil. I select the axis against I want the coil to roll. So that's one over there. Then I need to give dimensions of size. So that's one need to be need to have a pitch of 13 millimeters, and I need at least six coils. That is fine. Then I say okay. Right. So once I have that one in place, I come here. I want to have I want to have a fillet day of three millimeters. So that needs to be three millimeters. Great. Okay. So once I have three millimeters one side, so I turn it, I want this side as well to have a flat of three millimeters. So that one needs to be having a flat of three millimeters. So that's great. So now I need to kill the end of my cylinder. So I need to have a chamfer of two millimeters. That side. Okay. I come to the side. I need to have a flat of two millimeters again. That's great. So the next thing that I want to do now is to remove the visibility of my drawing plane. Where is that? This one over here. I right click. Then I say visibility. Come on. Ah, don't mind it. So I right click. I say visibility removed. Then I come here. I need to give the material. So I wanted to have steel alloy, steel alloy, steel alloy. There we go. So this is how your insert drive looks like. Okay. So it looks beautiful, right? So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you're going to enjoy it. For now, I'm going to ask you to take care of yourself and see you on the next video. Please, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. I don't want you to miss the next videos that will be coming. And I want you to share with other people if you want. Also, them to know what you're just knowing here or what to learn what you're learning here. So for now, I'm going to say bye.